Welcome to our e-learning video on the subject of compellents. In this video, we will be discussing the concept of compellents, including its definition, how it differs from deterrence, and some real-world examples of compellent strategies. Compellence is a concept in international relations that refers to the use of force or threat of force to compel an adversary, to take or refrain from taking a certain action. The goal of compellence is to change the behavior of an adversary, rather than simply deter them from taking a certain action. One of the key distinctions between compellence and deterrence is that deterrence is focused on preventing an adversary from taking a certain action, while compellence seeks to actively change an adversary's behavior. There are several types of compellent strategies. The first is called punishment, where an adversary is threatened with punishment if they do not comply with a certain demand. The second is called denial, where an adversary is denied access to something they want, such as resources or territory. The third is called enforcement, where an adversary is compelled to comply with a certain demand through the use of force. A classic example of compellence is the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962. The United States sought to compel the Soviet Union to remove nuclear missiles from Cuba by threatening to use force, if they did not comply. The United States implemented a naval blockade around Cuba to prevent Soviet ships from delivering missiles to the island. This compellent strategy ultimately succeeded, with the Soviet Union removing the missiles in exchange for a U.S. promise not to invade Cuba and the removal of U.S. missiles from Turkey. Another example of compellence is the Gulf War in 1990-1991. Following Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, a coalition led by the United States launched a military campaign to compel Iraq to withdraw its forces from Kuwait. This campaign included airstrikes and a ground invasion that ultimately succeeded in achieving its goals. Compellence is a complex strategy that can have both positive and negative consequences. On the one hand, it can be effective in changing the behavior of an adversary and achieving specific goals. On the other hand, it can also lead to unintended consequences, such as an escalation of violence or retaliation by the targeted adversary. In conclusion, compellence is a key concept in international relations that seeks to actively change an adversary's behavior through the use of force, or threat of force. It differs from deterrence in that it seeks to achieve a specific goal, rather than simply prevent an adversary from taking a certain action. There are several types of compellent strategies, including punishment, denial, and enforcement. While compellence can be an effective strategy, it can also have unintended consequences and should be used carefully. Thank you for watching our e-learning video on the subject of compellence. We hope you found this information informative and useful. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more educational content on international relations and related topics.